All right, so guys and gals, we're talking about how to follow up new listings, right? So you've talked to somebody, whether for sale by owner, a friend or a family member, an expired. Uh, Todd's here with me today, and we're talking about he's got a listing coming up. So Todd, I'm going to have you kind of set the stage here in a second. But one of the things that you guys need to start doing is kind of be different than every other realtor, right? So we can all in this market, throw a sign in the ground, put it on the MLS, and we know it's going to sale or sell, not sale, right? So we know it's going to sell, but here's the things you got to start practicing these things and making sure that you add value to your customer so that when times change and they will, right? The market will flip again. When they flip, that you have now, you have value add to the marketplace. And again, you're going to have to use this stuff. Todd and I talk about it all the time. Like a FISBO and expired people that don't trust you, don't know you, don't like you yet. You got to add value to the relationship in order to ask for an exchange, right? In order to ask them for something like, hey, I want your listing, right? So we're going to talk a little bit about list reports. Todd, can you see my screen right now? Yes. All right. So listreports.com. Guys and gals, if you're not using it, Todd, we're going to jump into it in a second. But if you're not using it, you pair it with a lender. So the lender buys the program, okay? List Reports comes with a ton of uh, materials, not only like social and blog stuff that you guys can share, much like Keeping Current Matters or like the lighter side of real estate and all these things out there. But List Reports is like one thing that's free to agents, right? So I always talk about like how you get $99 to death in this industry and you're paying a monthly fee or subscription for something. List reports is totally free. You just got to pair it with a lender. So Todd has come to me today with some questions. I'm going to share it with you guys. Um, what's going on? You got a listing coming up. I do. And you want to know how to use list reports. So let's talk about that. So I want to build a... Well, like last, I believe last week we did a marketing kit, or a marketing kit of, yep. uh, that we can put out. And I, since this listing is a new build, it's never been listed before. The one that you did last time, it was pulling information from previous listings, things like that. So how would I do that if this is a new listing that's never been listed before? Yeah. So on the right hand side of the page, when you guys go to marketing kit, right? So first of all, go pair it with your lender, sign up listreports.com. When you get here, right, the new marketing kit is going to offer you a bunch of information. We'll jump into that in a second. On the right hand side of the page, Todd, new marketing kit, go click on it. Now, right here, you got to put an address in. What's the address? It is 12115 ball. Court. B A L L. Fall. F A L L. Fall like the season. Yeah, there you go. Fall court. Indianapolis, Indiana. Yes. Okay. So then it's an active listing, pre listing coming soon. <laughs> reference URL. Do you have a reference to it or anything? Is it, ha has it been on any website ever anywhere? Okay. Mm -hmm. How many bedrooms and baths? Uh, four beds two and a half bath stories two square feet uh 2466 i believe single family yes price 265 property description wonderful beautiful come by it <laughs> wonderful beautiful don't miss this opportunity, right? Wonderful, beautiful. We're just going to put that in there. You guys understand what I'm talking about. This is like the remarks in a freaking listing, right? So then op so optional photo. So you just got to kind of go drag all this down. Hero image. So you guys know what a hero image is. Every time you post something like that has a link to it, right? So like if I posted your home from a Trulia link or a realtor.com or a Zillow link or a MyBoard link or whatever, everything has a hero image. It's a thumbnail that resides with that URL. Okay, so like on YouTube, you see a lot of YouTube videos that are getting posted into like social media, right? So if I take a YouTube link, right, and I post that link into Facebook, whatever the thumbnail or the hero image to that YouTube video, that's the image you're going to see whenever that link's posted. So this is where your hero image is. How do you get it, Todd asked. Well, this listing has never been on the market, so we don't have any images of it. So guess what you got to do? You gotta go get some images, right? So then you just download that to your computer and add them here. Make sense? Yep. Whenever it shows you the sample flyer, right here's the hero image. 
So front elevation, really cool bathroom, really cool kitchen, awesome backyard. Like what is the one image of this property that you want to like highlight? Okay. Make sense? So then you customize your marketing material if you would like to. You can do a blue, you can do company, you can go down here to EXP Realty. There's a million things you can do to start like branding your stuff if you want to, right? And then custom promotional text. This will appear on all flyers except for open house materials. So like whatever you want to, like um, built in 2022, built in 2021, you know, whatever it may be, right? If you want to put open house information in there, you can do it. Special instructions if you want any of that stuff, okay? But for you guys, I'm going to get out of this. Does that make sense? Yeah. Super easy, right? Whenever all, when list reports goes to work, when you hit submit on that, right? We'll show you the last one I did right here. When you show, whenever you do, um, when you have a, when you hit submit, List reports aggregates all the data that you put in there, beds, baths, photos, all the information that we just talked about, right? And then it builds a marketing kit for you. This is the marketing kit. So you have a single property website, pretty cool stuff, right? So now the seller, right? So if I was following up with Fizbo's expireds or whatever, now I would just literally use this in my three by three campaign. Todd, and you and I talk about this all the time. How do I touch a lead in the follow-up process Three times, three different ways. Email, text, video text, phone call, voicemail, whatever it may be. There's a million ways to communicate with somebody. But this is what that um, what that pro single property website looks like. And you guys can click around. You can see what's about the home. And it takes all the, you know, that would take your description. Wonderful, beautiful that we talked about, right? Then it has all the photo gallery. So it has your hero image and all the other information about it, right? And then it has explore the area. This is really cool, guys. So like an infographic type of thing, like how close are you to parks around? How close are you convenient to, or how convenient is this home to like your gym and your bank and your doctor's office and grocery stores and all that? Schools in the air, area, right? So it grades the schools. And then it has information about some restaurants, okay? Really cool stuff to follow up. So if it was me and I wanted to follow up with somebody like, and let's just call it a FISBO, right? For instance, because we were talking about that last week on our, one of our role play calls is, gosh darn it, is you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine pieces of content, okay? So everybody says, well, I don't know what to post about or I don't know what to do. You got nine pieces of content for one person's house. What do you think you should do? Maybe send them an open house flyer. Hey, we're rolling into the weekend, right? If you're a for sale by owner and you're sitting in an open house this week, I wish you all the best of luck. Hopefully you'll sell it. Again, if I have a buyer, I'll be in touch, but here's, a, here's an open house flyer for you to use, right? Here's what the open house flyer looks like. I don't know about you guys, but I can't build this stuff in any length of time very fast. <laughs> so... That, I mean, this stuff pumps it out like, like in no time, right? So, and then we can talk about this in a later date whenever we dive, dive deeper into list reports, but that's a general overview of list reports. Make sense? Now, could you do this for, obviously right now the market is moving very fast and homes are literally on the market for a couple hours sometimes. Yep. Um, if there's buyers that are curious about homes and there's a you have a little bit more time because i have three buyers that are from out of state yep. i have one in portland one in california and one in colorado they are looking in different areas if there's time am i able to build one of these for that property so that they could see that one sheet that has like all the stuff is in the surrounding areas um so that i could give them that because they don't live here or yeah so um or that just I'm you, could, you could but here's the thing like you you list reports is used for a value add to the seller okay so okay. when you're talking about like okay I, what i think you're saying is how can i take those infographics get it to my buyer so that they understand like the parks and the conveniency and the school districts and all that stuff yeah 
could. I think it's kind of climbing uphill if it was my opinion, but yeah, I mean, there's no doubt that it's value. I mean, I just don't know. I wouldn't personally go build a bunch of list report marketing kits for properties. I didn't have a chance of getting listed. Right. Yeah. So I just, again, it's swimming upstream, right? Especially in this market when properties go so fast, who, who I mean. Is there a resource where you can, aside from list reports, that you can do that for a specific neighborhood so that they know if this is where they're looking, this is where all the. Yeah, I'm sure there is off the top of my head. I don't know what it is, but um, list reports is the only thing that I found that aggregates all the data. So when I when I look at doing something, I try not to like do something more than once, right? So if I can do something one time and it's done, this gives me everything I want. It gives me my open house photos. It gives me my mar the whole marketing kit along with those infographics that give me that data. Um, but if you're asking for a buyer, like how does a buyer find all that information out? You got to be super careful in what you're doing as a real estate agent, right? Mm -hmm. Fair housing and a lot of other yeah. stuff that goes into this stuff, right? Yeah. So you can offer, um, you should find some sources that you like to use. And then that be a templated email like, hey, I know you're looking to buy in the indie market coming from Colorado or whatnot. Here are some great resources for you to do some due diligence. Um, but they, they have to do the due diligence. Make sense real fast while I'm here, right? Guys, if you guys are figuring out like how to, like, what do I want to share on social? Again, like lighter side of real estate, keeping current matters, some really good resources in the marketplace. As an agent, guys, these, uh, um, they do a, uh, they do an awesome job of creating like some really cool content that allows you to share um some really cool stuff onto your social feed so today's shareable let's just view this one i think they do this three days maybe four or five days a week I, it's not every day of the week i know that uh, but here it is right so it literally takes you into this thing and you can share the image and it shows you what to copy so you copy this catch and bigger isn't always better my job is to help you find the home uh, that you'll be the happiest in. What's one thing about your home that makes you happy? The helpful agent, home, all these hashtags, right? So you just copy the caption. And then you can save the image. So I just right-clicked on it and saved the image. And then you literally go to your Facebook or your Instagram or whatever, right? like struggling for content, right? We just showed you like a bunch of stuff you could do for the seller, the FISBO, the expired, the new listing you have. But you literally just like create a new post and I copied that text, right? So I make it look like the way I like to post stuff. And then I literally put the image in there. And I can post it. And if you go back to list reports, you, if you don't do it that way, because that, right. that way you can do it so you can make it look the way that you want. If you go down to share, it will, or choose branding, you can pick your like EXP, it will change the color and put your information, your picture, and then, because that's the only really? thing, I, that's the only thing I knew how to do so far in list reports. Yeah, this is awesome, right? So look, like I didn't even read that, right? So if you just choose it, right? Now you can put in your information. So you put in your, you know, whenever you sign up for all this stuff, you have this, right? And then .ex or, you know, it has all the branding. That's, that's br brilliant. I didn't see that. And then Guys, there's a ton of value in this. So yeah. look, if you have questions about this stuff, like I've always in my life tried to figure out how to duplicate and rip off what other people are doing. As bad as that sounds, like there are people that have come before me that do a really, really good job in every industry and in any business. Like why not just follow and kind of ride their coattails a little bit so that you don't have to reinvent this stuff. List reports is an awesome tool. So uh, if you guys have any questions, you guys know how to find me, um, but I'm going to jump off here and uh, we will chat soon. Give me one second.